My name is JC Max. Nice to meet you. So this is what get it how you live means. Because no one really knows about Corinto. Get it how you live. There's mucho pandillas here. And so as you can see here, Corinto was established in 1882. Get it how you live, how you live, how you live. And this is your uh, solo, solo um, trabajo or no? I'm all about my biz, about my biz, about my biz. That's a way to scratch the dog. Get it how you live, how you live, how you live. Just like that. Wow. <laughs> chucho, chucho. Oh yeah, vaya. And let's look at the shower head. It's just a normal shower head. But the only thing is, it doesn't have hot water. Get it how you live. Get it how you live, how you live, how you live. I'm all about my biz, about my biz, about my biz, man. Get it how you live, how you live, how you live. Many people wonder, what does get it how you live mean? <laughs> It's a cool phrase. It doesn't mean a bad thing. So let me give you an explanation. So here in Corinto, El Salvador, we have like an outhouse or a shack. I'm not sure what they do inside. Um, I'm thinking that they, let's see, store wood or cut wood, whatever they do in there. Just like places in Africa or any rural place that you go to, you know, you, you, you make do with what you can. So if you're just trying to create a, a simple shack, if you have wood all around, arboles, a bunch of mango trees back there as you can see, use that exact wood, it doesn't have to be perfect, line it up, and there's a bunch of bicycle tires that no one uses anymore. Get those bicycle tires and place it outside of the wood for stability. I'm not sure how rigid it makes it or how stable it makes it but hey for them it makes it stable enough so where they can tie things to it and keep it strong yes hurricanes do come around here a lot and when we are in central america north which is still north america and hurricanes definitely come through here so get it how you live and if you don't want water to come in if you have a black tarp place that over it and then boom you have like a nice little shack you know they have wood back here where they could just chop and store wood all up in there, just like that. So this is what get it how you live means. Whatever you find, whatever you can do, do it and then live. Just like that. All right, we got a propane. Oh, this is cool. This is a propane um, um, transporter. Hola, senor, buenos dias. What are you, are you like a tr uh, propane transporter? For pro propina? Propin? So you go around, so you can put dos propane tanks here? So uno dos. Okay. And this is your uh, solo, solo um, trabajo or no? Solo? Okay. Um, what's your name? Carlos. Carlos. Hola, Carlos. My name is JC Max. Nice to meet you, man. Mucho gusto. I like yeah. to see uh, nu nuevo, nuevo cosas. I've never seen this before. This is the uh, primera vez me ver. This, this tipo de trabajo. It's cool. Chivo. Tiene un canal de YouTube, ¿verdad? Oh, sí. ¿Tú sabes? You seen me before? Sí. ¿Dónde? On, on YouTube? Cool. Voy recorriendo San Miguel. Ah, sí. That's me. Yes, yes, yes it's me. <laughs> well, nice to meet you and nice to put you on my canal. So now you're on my canal. <laughs> <laughs> So that's cool. So tell your familia that you're going to be on my YouTube in probably un mes. I don't know. I'll put it on the internet un mes. Mucho tiempo. I don't know. I take my time. So, yeah. That's cool. Nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Keep up the great work, bro. All right. All right. All right. So here, as you can see, people use propane for their heating elements or they use natural wood. Um, and it's awesome, you know, it's awesome to see these type of things, you know, he just goes on the, goes on his trip all the way through the town of Corinto. Uh, that's, that's cool, some people see me around um, in San Miguel, so yeah, that's, that's awesome. So we have some natural effects of erosion here. I don't know if this is completely erosion, I don't know if people have been chopping off at it, trying to take rocks for cement purposes or whatever, but hey, this is Corinto, El Salvador. Pretty cool, eh? All right, let me just take you on a little trip around this uh, part of the neighborhood so you can see. There's not much to do out here. But oh, like I said, it's quaint. There's no violence. There's nothing that you need to worry about. People are always like, oh my goodness, I can't believe you're in El Salvador. There's mucho pandilla, eh? Okay, mucho pandilla. I'm making fun of the people who just 
say things like that, but it's not true. So, hola, buenos dias. All right, so we got the cows here eating the vegetables. That's cool. That's a big behind cow, boy. Look at that. So the cow got its lettuce and its cabbage. Like I said, this is a rural farming community here in Corinto. Uh, not much industrialized places here. Hola, buenos dias. How you doing? So, you know, you just get it how you live. Hola, buenos dias. Don't be afraid. <laughs> All right. So people are kind. People aren't really scared of me out here. It's pretty cool. I like that. You know, I can just freely walk around with no problem here in Corinto, in Morazan. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Yes, I'm wearing white shoes in the mud. <laughs> oh, well. Hola. Si venden gelatina or gelatina? No, ahorita no gelatina. No. What's gelatina? ¿Qué es gelatina? La guaja is like a refresco? Uh -huh. Oh, okay, that's cool. No high. So, ahora, aburita, what do you have? ¿Qué, qué vendes? Jugo enlatado. You got some maíz back there. You have some chips, some snacks, uh -huh. some maggi. You have a lot of cosas. Don't you have to get the molinos? I'm interested to see exactly what they're selling. Okay. It's just like a, a little, a small tienda. So many people don't speak English, but I try my best. Okay. Well, muchas gracias. So, bueno pues. Bueno pues. All right, let's keep walking. Let's figure out what's going on around here. And we try for that dog. And before I go any further, I need to give a shout out to the Comfort Auto Hotel Prado here in Corinto. They've been showing me love and housing me the entire time that I've been here. I'm gonna show you where they're located. So the problem is, if you wanna show them love as well, it's gonna be a little bit hard because see, they don't have any particular signage on the outside, so you won't really see it. And plus, at the same time, you can't really purchase ahead of time when it comes to like Google ordering or anything like that. It's more like you come here and you give them cash on hand. So for me, they charge me essentially just $25 per night, which is an okay price for me. Um, some people may say, oh, it's expensive, but it's okay. They're not really getting that much business in Corinto because no one really knows about Corinto. And so as you can see here, Corinto was established in 1882. So many people still don't know anything about it. So if it, even if it costs more than $15 a night, why not? They're not getting any business and they have all this electricity to pay for. So just give them what they ask for and here you can have a wonderful stay where they have garages where you can park your car and then you can go up and then relax in an air-conditioned room that has cable tv and it has running water the water is not hot but it's running um, and it also has wi-fi they use the claro wi-fi at this area so it does have wi-fi um it doesn't reach that far but it's it's here um so i want to give a shout out to this hotel once again this is the comfort Auto Hotel Prado here in Corinto. So once again, no signage, no Google ordering. You just have to find their phone number and just come here and give them cash on hand. Just like that. So show them some love, all right? Cool. And I like the fact that everyone out here is working. It's like, it's like a family affair. Hola, buenos dias. What happened? What happened? ¿Qué, qué haces? What you guys doing? Would you plant us? Ajá, estamos poniendo unos retenedores Organic? Wait, you're putting the plant, you're taking the plants from here and you're putting it here? Yes. Oh, because when you... Oh, when you drive it goes, it goes down. Okay. That's cool. Organico. Where are you from? I'm from the United States of America. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Salvador. What part? Que parte? Acá. En Corinto. Hey. Right, gotta watch out for this daggone dog. Trust these dogs. Jordan, they Their dog's name is Jordan? Like, like Corinto? Me? Yes, of course. I love Corinto. Corinto is awesome. What is this, a tienda? Yes. Okay. I don't, oh, I didn't know you guys had something here. That's cool. All right, well, keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> Your English is good, bro. Uh, keep it up. So, I don't know why they're putting the plants here. Let me see. Is this, yeah. 
Is this to is this to block the hole? To to block the hole? Block block it block it? Uh huh, exactly. Oh okay. So <laughs> So I guess this is like a um, organic way to fill up potholes. So they'll just put plants there. I don't know what he's saying. So they'll just put plants here and I guess keep it from being such of a big dip. Just like that. That's a way to scratch the dog. Wow. <laughs> Ingenious. I think he likes that. I think he's getting a little bit of a haircut too. <laughs> the perro, the chucho gusta. <laughs> chucho, chucho. <laughs> chucho. <laughs> All right, gracias. Bye. Oh yeah, vaya. Let's see what else we got here in Corinto. Let's go into town. Once again, a lot of cows out here. They're at the actual residences. Nice, healthy cows as well. Bad boys are eating up. Eat, eat that grass, baby, eat that grass. Some of them are already branded. Oh yeah. Eat it up. We got ourselves here a car wash. Nice, nice, nice. Right now it's pretty early in the morning so there's not a lot of people outside. But later on it does get a little busy, but more in the center portion of the city, just not around here. And let's look at the shop over here. Let's see what the type of things that they sell. Hola, buenos dias. How you doing? Como estas? Ven? Hola, back there. So they sell pretty much almost the same things that you would see in other parts of El Salvador. We got some umbrellas. We have some shampoo. We have some soap some um, oil, um, pretty much anything you need. This is like a, like in the Philippines, you would call this a sari sari shop. Or you, even in the same thing, you have a market, little small little store in Haiti, things like that. You have your bread, you have your garlic. I think they call that ajo. I don't know. How come it's dice in Espanol? Wait, I'm not gonna buy it. Ajo. Okay, I don't need any ajo, so I'm gonna leave that right there. All right, and we have some onions. And we have some tomatoes. Oh wow, look at this. So this kind of reminds me of back in the day when my mom used to work in a flea market. And when she was in the flea market, she would have this big white truck. And what would happen is the field mice and the rats would come into the truck and bring rats to our house. I hated it. So what we needed to do was we needed to have glue traps. And look, they have a glue trap for the moscas, for the flies. So in Spanish, flies means Moscas. So I've never seen this before, but it's pretty cool to keep the flies away from the tomatoes. And we have some potatoes right there as well. So it's a small little thing that many people just don't know about. There are ways to keep the moscas away from your tomates. Good job. Great technology. It's great. Hola. Oh yeah. So let's walk further into the city center. Woo! Let's go. Hola, buenos dias. I know many people are like, oh, you keep going to the stores and you're not buying anything. I'm not obligated to buy anything. Sometimes I just want to show you the new technology and what they're selling. It is what it is. I'm not here to buy up the entire town. <laughs> I'm on vacation. <laughs> Hola, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Oh yeah, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Yes. <laughs> Got builders right there. Hey! Let's see. Do I want to show you how the construction looks? Yes, many people may be interested in how they construct their buildings here. So we have a building that looks quite modern. I think that's a garage. Let me get out of the street. Oh, wow. Look at this. Wow, this looks pretty cool. I'm just going to ask them what this, what this building will be later on. I'm not gonna go into the site. They have a pretty much blocked this part out with barbed wire and wires. Wow, even downstairs, like a bunker. Hola, buenos dias. Keep up the duro trabajo. Good job. It looks good. It's bueno. Um, que será este edificio? Que... Yeah, que, que será este? Oh, it's gonna be a house? Okay, bueno. All right. So this is gonna be a house. This is a house here in Corinto in 2021. So don't think that they're living in wood shacks and stuff like that. You know, they're gonna have their bunkers. They're gonna have their, their solid concrete structures here in the city. So you never know, you know, you never know what, what, what this town could be if it just continues to build up. 
So, gracias. Have a blessed day. Que tenga buen día. Oh, yeah. All right. So, I just wanted to show you that things are coming up here in Corinto. All right. Bonus. Got barbed wire right there. That's a big thing here. There's so much barbed wire. I guess it's to, like to keep the cows in, keep the sheep in, things like that. Now, what in the world is this? This looks like Johnny Five. This is cool. Se vende café, agua, pupusos, chocolate, refrescos, natural. And then they have this Mad Max looking, <laughs> Johnny Five looking. I guess you could sit here and then say hello. I don't know what this is saying. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Johnny Five. That's nice. 